regards to children li living in non-formal areas and why they need it more. You can be part of this conversation by sending in your comments, questions, or simply telling us where you're watching us from on e across all social media platforms. Or you can talk to me directly on my social media handles at Eve and Askonyaga1 on Instagram and Twitter and Evelyn Yaga on Facebook. My guest today goes by the name Jane Wanjiro and she's a teacher and a mentor and she'll be telling us more about herself and her mentorship program. Welcome. Thank you so much. So how are you feeling today? I'm feeling good, Chris. <laughs> so thank you so much for making time to be with us. Thank you. I should be appreciating. Karibu. I had been praying for such a moment mm -hmm. and I thank God it's here finally. Yes. Yeah. So kindly introduce yourself and tell us what you do professionally. Okay, my name is Jane Wanjiro mm -hmm. Mogo. I'm a teacher with TSC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a wife, mm -hmm. a mother to mm -hmm. two boys. Ah, yeah. Great. Yeah. Um, so talk to us, since you're a teacher, yeah. um, which grade do you, do you teach? Or rather, which level do you teach? Oh, mm -hmm. class six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. class six, seven, eight. So um, talk to us about the mentorship program that you have okay. and um, with relation to you being a teacher. Okay, let me take you backwards mm -hmm. a bit. When I was posted to Kayole, I went to Imara first mm -hmm. and then I was transferred to Kayole North, mm -hmm. formerly Matopeni. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I, it's a non-formal settlement area. Yeah. And when I reached there, I realized that uh, children are vulnerable. Yeah. to a lot of vices like drug trafficking mm -hmm. and militia gangs, uh, early prostitu prostitution uh, and other vices. Mm -hmm. And so as a teacher that passion that I had mm -hmm. in guidance and counseling, which I did at Mount Kenya University, mm -hmm. I felt it was I was in the right place yeah. and with the right people. Mm -hmm. And so immediately with the help of my hand teacher, mm -hmm. we started a program by the name Life Skills. Yeah. And with the help from uh, Life Skill promoters mm -hmm. and uh, UNICEF, they came in and we started that program on mentoring kids, taking them through the important life skills programs. Yeah. And I thank God for the step so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're saying children from class six, seven, and eight, yeah. they're exposed to all these vices yeah. at such tender age. Yeah. Have you experienced such cases? A lot, mm -hmm. a lot, a lot. In fact, I want to thank the hand teacher, mm -hmm. uh, Mrs. Derry. I, I want to believe maybe she's watching mm -hmm. or she'll get to watch this. Mm -hmm. Together with her, we realized that uh, this it, 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 it was happening in our school, actually. It's still happening. Yeah. Drugs, mm -hmm. children are getting access to drugs. Mm -hmm. Like I said before, the, 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 the environment itself, yeah. we have people selling drugs to kids. Mm -hmm. And so we have a lot to do mm -hmm. in talking to these kids mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, and telling them the dangers of these drugs yeah and and of course other vices like i said before it's not about drugs the yeah. other things that the limitia which, which are which there which are mostly, there mostly. so you find that is a challenge mm -hmm. that these kids or the, when we release them in the evening uh, because it's a day school mm -hmm. There's a conflict of interest because as teachers, especially as mentors, mm -hmm. we are with them, mm -hmm. talking to them about morals, mm -hmm. values, mm -hmm. uh, taking them through the life skill programs. Mm -hmm. But then when they get out there, mm -hmm. they, are, they, they are getting, they are exposed yeah. to such kind of um, militia groups and other, mm -hmm. and other things. And that's out of yeah. your control, definitely. Yeah. yeah. But I thank God it's working. Mm -hmm. Since we introduced this program, we have seen a tremendous change in behaviors, mm -hmm. by the way. We have kids who mm -hmm. have left school, yeah. class eight, mm -hmm. and uh, we are following them up. We don't mm -hmm. leave them when they do the KCP. Mm -hmm. We follow them up even to high school where they went to, and they come back to us, thanking us, because we realized that uh, before, previously, they didn't have mentors or shoulders to lean on or people yes. to share with. Yeah. But when we started their program, mm -hmm. they came in, and we are working together, and we, we, we thank God mm -hmm. so far. So when was the program Life Skills started? 2015, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. 2015, mm -hmm. yeah. What was your main goal when starting that program? To give hope mm -hmm. to these kids, yeah, yeah to, to encourage them and motivate them and tell them it doesn't matter the environment. Mm -hmm. It's about attitude and individual, mm -hmm. not about the environment they are in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so basically we were, the peer pressure was mm -hmm. too much, negative peer pressure. Mm -hmm. And so we told them it's about you as an individual. It's not about the environment, it's not about the group. Mm -hmm. 
fine your cousins do it your neighbors do it but it doesn't have to be you yeah it's your life mm -hmm. it's your life mm -hmm. so when we started that they started seeing signs and it was not easy initially yes. mm -hmm. it has not been easy mm -hmm. like i said conflict of interest because mm -hmm. of the community around yeah. but i thank god We'll be talking even to parents mm -hmm. and the community around, and mm -hmm. they are seeing the need of also encouraging these kids mm -hmm. just to be morally upright. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so, is this a program for maybe class six to eight students, or is just from no the young the young ones? No. Initially, we thought we concentrate with the six, seven, eight, but we realized mm -hmm. even the children as young as nine years mm -hmm. are being uh, are recruited into these militia gangs, really? yeah, it was that serious mm -hmm. from, yeah, actually even, it, 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 we had a case of an eight-year-old boy Eight being recruited years. in Gaza, you know Gaza, yeah. Gaza is known, is a known yeah. militia gang in Kayole, mm -hmm. so we thought now we should now, we should not rely on uh, class six, seven, eight kids only, mm -hmm. and so we decided to go down level mm -hmm. to class two, mm -hmm. even, to talk to them, yes. but of course the topics are different, mm -hmm. the way I approach it in class, Two is not mm -hmm. the way I'm going to approach it in class, class six, eight, seven, and yeah. eight. Yeah. yeah. So is it given as a lesson, or um, it's done? Maybe you just combine all of them together. I want to thank the government because mm -hmm. they have slotted that lesson on Thursday, where we have life skill program. But that one is not enough. Yeah. So as a patron of the mm -hmm. life skill together with the hand teacher, mm -hmm. we go and ex besides the, the the normal Thursday lesson for yeah. life skills, mm -hmm. which I want to encourage the teacher to put into consideration because mm -hmm. most of them actually take it to Fomented, teach their subjects yeah, yeah. to boost their academic performance but i want that the government for the cbc mm -hmm. now that you are not so much into academics mm -hmm. like what the president said yesterday mm -hmm. let them concentrate on mentoring these kids because i believe they lack the 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 the, the, ment the, the life skills mm -hmm. most of them they even don't know about them their assertiveness you mm -hmm. know yeah. to remain no you know the person of integrity the self-esteem all those basic life skills mm -hmm. they're about 16 of them mm -hmm. we need even if you're not going to touch on them, we touch on the basics, like mm -hmm. negative peer pressure, mm -hmm. the assertiveness, the ones, you know, yeah. the main ones, uh -huh. yeah? The, the, the decision making yeah. and all that. So I believe as teachers and parents, if we take children through the life skills, the basic ones, mm -hmm. we'll have a better generation yeah. in future. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, let's talk more about the program. Yeah. What are some of the challenges you've encountered since 2015? Resistance, mm -hmm. resistance from the community, like I told you. Mm -hmm. Recently- Oh, it's not from the students? Not from the students. Mm -hmm. The students are good. Mm -hmm. Actually, they are good since I started the program, mm -hmm. but the problem is, uh, like I said, the negative peer pressure from outside. Yeah. Sometimes I'm not with them during mm -hmm. the holiday, mm -hmm. or at times I'm not with them, mm -hmm. they're at home. Mm -hmm. So you find that uh, they are discouraged. And like I told you, we had a, a show with Chip Kizzy yes. just the other day. Mm -hmm. And then from there, there were threats. Mm -hmm. Actually, there were what threats. What kind of threats? Tell, uh, the teacher who is trying to, to mentor the children, mm -hmm. they are lacking customers to sell drugs to. Because I'm telling children to keep up drugs. Actually, mm -hmm. we had a case that we reported so the police station. To you? Yeah, it's a threat to me uh -huh. and, to, and to the hand teacher. Because uh -huh. she has been very supportive of the program. Yeah. So I should not be talking to these kids, I uh -huh. should not be mentoring them, uh -huh. I should not them be telling them about Gaza, mm -hmm. I should not be telling them about drugs, I should constitute the teaching according to them. Wow, it's a case with serious. the OCS Kayole, uh -huh. it's there. But he told me to keep on keeping on encouraging these yeah, kids, and yeah. by the I'm not going to stop, because uh -huh. it's me. Mm -hmm. Mentoring is me besides teaching. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you don't, feel, you don't feel like kind of a threat when you're no, walking around? No, I wouldn't, because mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. I have a lot of support from the deputy president, mm -hmm. and I want to believe even if he's not listening, he'll have to get to learn this mm -hmm. through the wife. Yes. Uh, though I've never met her, mm -hmm. but through her office mm -hmm. and officers, they are becoming to school and supporting me a lot. Yeah. Because we realize that one of the things that these children are being whirled mm -hmm. into the militia guns and mm -hmm. drug trafficking businesses is because of poverty. Because mm -hmm. I go to sit one on one with them mm -hmm. and they told me, teacher, we don't get food. So sometimes you are forced to do this to get food mm -hmm. and all that. So we reached the office of the deputy president and they brought a feeding program. Yeah. And uh, when they brought the feeding program, they felt the need mm -hmm. besides feeding them physically, mm -hmm. also, also, also morally. Mental, yeah. And so they introduced a club. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the deputy president's wife mm -hmm. club known as CHE, yeah. Community Health Evangelism. Mm -hmm. So when they came... But they she's never been there. She's never been there, okay. but she has been setting up officers there. Mm -hmm. So they, they, they occasionally come to our school. Mm -hmm. And when they came, 
and they got to see what I do in my life skills mm -hmm. programs. They were, she was impressed, mm -hmm. of course, through her officers, and she incorporated mm -hmm. the, the chair club yeah. with the life skills. Mm -hmm. So we work hand in hand, we work together. And I thank God for the progress so far. Mm -hmm. So the feeding program mm -hmm. and the, and the and chair the club mm -hmm. plus life skills, mm -hmm. it's working miracles. Yeah. yeah. I have, I have, I'm hoping that next time I'll get a chance and I come with those of some of the kids yeah, who yeah. have entered. Some confessing that teacher, if it were not for you, because mm -hmm. these people, mm -hmm. if, and they've told you that they have told me that mm -hmm. they've told me that. Actually, one time when you invite me again, I'll come with them. Yeah, please come with them. Because those are the kids; they are mm -hmm. peer educators. Yeah, they are the kids who are encouraging others, and they are like, oh, if this did it and she's in the same environment mm -hmm. he's in the same environment I can also yeah, make I it. Can also yeah. Do it yeah because if you see your fellow students doing it yeah. then you believe in yourself you believe more. in yourself so you told me some of the challenges that you're having is maybe threats and resistance yeah. from the community any other challenge well 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 um and maybe the children themselves mm -hmm. doubting themselves yeah it's like can I really make it mm -hmm from where I come from, you know, can I really make it? You know, they doubt themselves, yeah. but you're trying to put that hope in them, mm -hmm. telling them we also came from such places. Mm -hmm. And and I thank God, at mm -hmm. least that perception is clearing now. Yeah. They're accepting the changes, mm -hmm. and I thank God. And we're involving them. Mm -hmm. like I want to thank the ADMP, yeah. Honorable Benjamin Mwange mm -hmm. Uh He's really supporting me also with the program, mm -hmm. whereby he involved these kids in a and co environmental conservation. Yeah. You see, we are killing two birds, one stone. Mm -hmm. At the same time, they are learning the importance of conserving environment, the environment tender age yeah. and also engaging them positively. Because uh -huh. what I tell these kids, mm -hmm. and what I tell is not about, because most of them are not bright. Mm -hmm. Most of them are not bright. Mm -hmm. So they are discouraged. And mm -hmm. that is why I'm thanking the president for the new system curriculum. Mm -hmm. I'm really yes. supporting it. Mm -hmm. As much as it's being opposed by, mm -hmm. by NAT, mm -hmm. which I'm a, I'm a, I'm a member, yeah, remember, yeah. but I'm opposed mm -hmm. to him resisting that cause mm -hmm. CBC competence based curriculum mm -hmm. it's, it's 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 emphasizing more on the pupils areas of competence yeah. as opposed to academics A's yes. because you can get that A mm -hmm. and become useless in life yeah. but you can be We've disciplined disciplined and yeah very, very great degrees yeah. uh, masters yeah. but they're wasted to nothing exactly yeah so i want these kids from primary level mm -hmm. to secondary to tertiary by mm -hmm. the time they're it will challenge them whatever you are doing challenge them oh teacher talk to me mm -hmm. uh, we were mentored the mp was there for us yeah. the deputy pro was there for us so mm -hmm. and 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 you know gone are days when you just you used to tell them don't do this don't yeah. do this it's about you talking to them mm -hmm. let it challenge them in future yes yeah mm -hmm. yeah so let's talk about the feeding program yeah is this offered to each and every student yes. or um, it's just specific students all mm -hmm. of them mm -hmm. for free yeah all of them for free a balanced diet mm -hmm. some that never used to be there before mm -hmm. it was a challenge mm -hmm. it was a challenge because most kids never used to afford lunch yeah and so absenteeism mm -hmm. was uh, was a problem yeah affecting the performance uh -huh. because if a child and is absent is tied to them not having something to eat yeah yeah they, they actually told me uh -huh. yeah I, I had a case not even one uh -huh. or, uh, or two so many cases telling me teacher was absent uh -huh. because i was not able to get for teacher i was found doing this uh -huh. uh, because i could not get food my mother and you know okay sorry to say uh -huh. most of the parents they are not well, how do i put it they, they, they are not hopeful of their kids. Really? It's like go to school, yeah. Uh -huh. So if you don't ask as mentors and teachers, yeah, most of them, by uh -huh. the way, they are not, they are not there for their kids. Uh -huh. They are comfortable with their children are in school. Yeah. And uh, so we have a lot to do. So we are acting the roles of parents, uh -huh. the role of teachers, uh -huh. the role of counselors and all others. Uh -huh. So yeah. it's actually true what they say that these days parents have left the children to the teachers. Exactly, uh -huh. exactly and the problems we are experiencing now. Yeah. yeah, they are not there for their children. Uh -huh. So you find that a child will open up the uh -huh. teacher, even a very private issue. Uh, they'll come and share with me, have you shared with mommy now? Uh -huh. Why? Oh, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. So um, this feeding program, what meals are included? Some break, uh, some uh, meals for break or yeah. and lunch? They take nutritious porridge uh -huh. at 11. Uh -huh very very nutritious porridge at 11 uh -huh. and then lunch time they they take the normal lunch yeah yeah okay that's yeah. interesting um then the the chair program how did you get in contact with the office of the deputy president because can i see it was god's grace through a certain parent mm -hmm. in our school yeah 
and he happened to be my friend. Mm -hmm. And so when he's a pastor, apparently, and so I shared with him, with mm -hmm. him one time, and I told, I repeated these kids. It mm -hmm. was just a normal talk. Yeah. And I told him, because many kids would come to me, to I don't have food. Mm -hmm. Like in my class, I was organizing how children were going to. Yeah, in your class. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I made sure no kid went hungry. Yeah. But I could not feed the whole, the whole school. Those yeah. who are going hungry. And no people are different. Mm -hmm. So, and so you were doing it with your finances? Yeah. I was doing it, but the little that we get, you know, teachers, yeah. we are even on the streets are here too. <laughs> but the little that I was getting, uh -huh. and I thank God I never lacked. Yeah, yeah I never lacked. Like Mother Teresa said, mm -hmm. uh, if you cannot afford to feed all, feed one. Yeah. <laughs> and blessings will follow you. Yeah. So I saw God blessing me mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. And so I talked to this parent, and it was like, I know a church I go to, mm -hmm. and Madame Rich Ruto mm -hmm. goes to that church. Yeah. So one day when I get, and I thought it was, it was just a, uh, a, a consolation, mm -hmm. a consolation thing, you know. <laughs> I'll try. Yeah, I'll I try. never thought. Yeah. You know, the wife of the deputy president, yeah, I mean, it was like almost impossible. You, yeah. But luckily, it went through. Mm -hmm. So when he came to us, together with the hand teacher telling us what he has worked and the deputy and our ch school has been chosen among the children, the schools that to benefit from the feeding program, mm -hmm. I just thanked God. I just thanked God. I felt like I had achieved. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nice. and from there, th she has been very supportive, mm -hmm. giving them balanced diet, giving mm -hmm. them porridge, mm -hmm. ensuring so the mental. So she's also, she's the one also um, funding and supporting this feeding program. Yeah, yeah, fully. So she's in charge of the feeding program, her in her, her office, in charge yeah. of the feeding program and the chair. And the chair. Okay. Fully, mm -hmm. yeah. So what are some of the benefits that um, you've seen from um, the club chair? Wow, wow, wow. Oh, great transformation in mm -hmm. behaviors children willing to change. Mm -hmm. We had kids almost joining Al-Shabaab because the community we have Muslims, a lot of them, but they almost half yeah. have the, the school, have the kids, mm -hmm. Muslim, they are mm -hmm. Muslims. So, and we had kids who are about to be recruited. Mm -hmm. They confessed to us, some wow. even about to join Gaza, mm -hmm. and some even being used to traffic drugs, mm -hmm. but they changed. Mm -hmm. And then teacher, we're not ready to die young. Mm -hmm. So transformation, behavior, mm -hmm. and also, absenteeism, mm -hmm. the cases of absenteeism have reduced tremendously. Mm -hmm. There's almost a hundred percent turnout. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, mm -hmm. I would say so. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Behavior change especially. Uh -huh. Yeah. And being present in school. Uh -huh. You know in school they learn a lot. Because teaching is not about shock mm -hmm. and the blackboard. Mm -hmm. It tells a lot. It entails a lot. Mm -hmm. Mamba mentorship and other things. Mm -hmm. So I think behavior was, and also the community has embraced the changes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are very, very supportive. Yeah, it's not 100%, we yeah. are there at least at 80%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the school is known to yeah. be disciplined. Okay. Kyle, no, it's known to uh -huh. be disciplined. Yeah, okay, that's yeah. good. Yeah, are you any plans of introducing the programs to neighboring schools? Oh, yes, uh -huh. oh, yes. Now that the MP is supporting it fully, and you know, he's not just an MP for Kyle North Primary School, yeah. mm -hmm. so we are planning the plans are underway. Mm -hmm. mm. So currently it's only um, Kyola North Current is only Kyola that North. has those programs. Yeah, but I do it online. Mm -hmm. I do a lot of it mm -hmm. online. And uh, many teachers are embracing yeah. it. But they encourage them a lot because mm -hmm. there was this notion, mm -hmm. teach and go home, you're getting less and all that. And then I told them, teaching is a calling. Yeah. It's in the book of James. Mm -hmm. Oh, and to those who desire to be teachers, uh -huh. take other professions but don't be a teacher because yeah. your judgment will be different. Yeah. Remember these are innocent kids. Mm -hmm. They are there for you. Mess them up, make them up, up to you. Mm -hmm. When I see a kid coming back to me, I have I, I had a student, multimedia university, I have mentored right from primary school. Mm -hmm. When she comes to me and tells me some of these things I didn't know. Mm -hmm. We used to hear of children from suburb, the counseling and other things, but mm -hmm. you brought them to our area. Yeah. Teacher, I owe it to you. Mm -hmm. I just shed tears. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I feel I've achieved. Yeah. yeah that's all. So yeah. I always encourage teachers, please do your best. Mm -hmm. Do your best. Uh, counsel these kids, not mm -hmm. about teaching, and God will bless you. It's Don't look true. at the pennies that you're getting yeah, because you're the remuneration is, is just discouraging. Yeah. But focus in any God. case, that is where you're getting your blessings. Yeah, true, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So other than um, the office of the deputy president, the area MP, your head, uh, headmistress, who else is on board? Some teachers, mm -hmm. some teachers around, uh, some mm -hmm. parents. Yeah. I have some parents who are very supportive because again, if you work alone mm -hmm. and you don't have support from parents, yeah. it might be an exercise in futility. Mm -hmm. So I have parents assisting even 
pastors. I have Pastor Mbogwa mm -hmm. from Faith Evangelism Ministry mm -hmm. working with the, um, Remo Nelson. Yeah. Uh, he has also been very, very supportive mm -hmm. of the program. So mm -hmm. I thank God. Mm -hmm. So we are getting to a place yeah. soon. That's good. Yeah. So what if someone wanted, you're saying that you're doing, you're doing the mentoring online. Yeah. Where would someone find you if they wanted to contact you, maybe parents, maybe teachers, or even a student? Well, well, well. So far, Facebook mm -hmm. is Jane Mogo. You can use that camera. Facebook, mm -hmm. Jane Mogo. I have my email. Some of them get to me mm -hmm. through email. Yeah. Jane Moreni, mm -hmm. 8 at gmail.com. So I have my number, 0725 mm -hmm. I've worked with parents online, yeah. mm -hmm. some with issues, because uh, besides what I do also, uh, mm -hmm. uh, we have issues like uh, affecting teens. Mm -hmm. They get depressed and they do the unimaginable, mm -hmm. you know? Like, for example, committing suicide. Yeah. Recently, cases mm -hmm. of teens committed suicide are rampant. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're Juicy, uh -huh. we buried a young boy, uh -huh. 22 years old. In Kayola. Uh -huh. Yeah. He committed suicide. Parents today don't understand why. Yeah. Probably this kid was, and then the parents are like, this kid never lacked anything, were mm -hmm. there for him. He mm -hmm. was actually about to graduate yeah. deck. Wow. this deck mm -hmm. unfortunately he went with a lot of secrets with him mm -hmm. so I always tell parents get to me and many of them are reaching mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. if I'm not able to get to you one-on-one -on -one, mm -hmm. we talk mm -hmm. via phone yeah and I get a chance to talk to either to that boy or to that girl mm -hmm. and it works many yeah. of them are coming online mm -hmm. appreciating yeah. teacher you saved my boy and all that because mm -hmm. I believe there's night that I can't handle yes. I want to sit with that boy and girl mm -hmm. share with me I had a case in our school. Mm -hmm. The boy almost committed suicide. Wow. He just stopped coming to school mm -hmm. and I got concerned because the moment a, a kid, child in primary school. Yeah. In my class actually, uh -huh. class seven, because uh -huh. I'm a class teacher class seven. Okay. And so he stopped coming and he was a bright boy. Uh -huh. So I got concerned. So I sent one kid go and check what was what is happening with the Joseph. Uh -huh. So the mother came to me crying and told me, Teacher, I wish I could share with you, but uh -huh. I wanted to come from him mm -hmm. and all that. So to cut the story short, mm -hmm. the boy had been sodomized. I, I want to tell you the kind of environment you're living in. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he was sodomized and unfortunately because of the poverty, mm -hmm. it didn't go far. And then yeah. the, the guys who are responsible just moved. Mm -hmm. They don't know where they went to. So the boy was there with the drawing. Mm -hmm. He was not able to share with yeah, anybody. So to. he was there. And so the mother was concerned, mm -hmm. but I thank God. I got to sit with the boy one on one and we talked mm -hmm. and the boy he can smile now because mine is to put a smile on a, yeah. on a child's face mm -hmm. at least he's he's good yeah. he's good we shared a lot with him that's good and we're still working together mm -hmm. yeah that's good with him yeah and many other cases that's mm -hmm. just one out mm -hmm. of many so apart from school I also do it online yeah, yeah and I get a lot of support from mm -hmm. my Facebook buddies. Mm -hmm. Some are known to me, some are not. Yes. But they just trust me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I want us to wind up. So okay. I want you to just maybe give your final word um, to parents who are watching, to young people who are watching. Yeah. And maybe teachers. Well, well, we have a judgmental society mm -hmm. where we find some children, some youth, some teens engaging in some vices and we are quick to judge. Uh, forgetting that we are to blame the teachers, the parents, and the society. Are we there for those kids? What do you do as a parent? Mm -hmm. How often do you sit with your child? You go out with your girlfriends, you go out with your boyfriends, you go out with your spouses. How often do you go out with your kids? Sit with them one-on-one. -on -one. Get to share. Let them open up to you. How often? You're busy looking for money, mm -hmm. for wealth, at expense of taking care of our kids, listening yeah. to them. Mm -hmm. So let's be there for our kids, mm -hmm. please, to save this generation. Things are bad. I'm a teacher and I know. Mm -hmm. Right from primary to secondary to colleges, we have many vices affecting our kids. We need to listen to them. We need to talk to them occasionally. Don't get tired. Yeah. Just talk to them. You're mm -hmm. going to save a child somewhere. Mm -hmm. Let them know there's somebody who understands them. Let them know that there's somebody who can listen to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So thank you so much for your insightful thoughts. Yeah, thank and you, it's, Eve. It's a good job that you're doing out thank there. Thank you, thank you, And Eve. keep doing it. Thank you, Eve. Yes, thank you so much for making time to come. Thank you. Yeah. Thank so you. Um, that was Jane, and like she has said, we need to take care of our children so that they can be prosperous and we can have a better coming generation. So don't you go anywhere more of Isakut coming your way.
Welcome to Real Talk. I am your host, Eve Nyaga. Jen Mogo had a lot to say, and as she said, we need to make sure that our children get the best. So she had a lot to say in terms of making sure that n children from non-formal sectors are taken care of. So today we shall be talking about cardiovascular diseases and creating awareness around the issue. You can be part of this conversation by sending in your comments, questions, or telling us where you're watching us from on eSircuit across all our social media platforms. Or you can talk to me directly on my social media platforms at Eve underscore Nyaga one on Instagram and Twitter and Evelyn Nyaga on Facebook. My guest today, I have Priya and Jabe and Joseph, sorry, from JJ Hartran, and they'll be telling us how they're creating awareness when it comes to cardiovascular diseases. So welcome. Thank you. So kindly introduce yourself. Yeah, my name is uh, Joseph Jamenya. Mm -hmm. I'm a journalist. Mm -hmm. Uh, I work for a daily newspaper and uh, I come from Vihiga. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Karibu. My name is Priya Ivusa. Mm -hmm. um, I come from Vihiga County. Mm -hmm. I'm also a journalist. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm. So, Priya, kindly tell us what cardiovascular diseases are. Mm, cardiovascular diseases are diseases that affect the heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Jo Joseph. Yes. Tell us um, the types of cardiovascular diseases that we have. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm not a doctor, but mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, I know around two which have uh, affected me directly yeah. through my parents. Mm -hmm. I know the heart uh, blockage mm -hmm. and the cardiac ar arrest, mm -hmm. whereby somebody just, uh, you, 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 you presume somebody's uh, healthy, mm -hmm. then... Uh, uh, as uh, the person goes to bed mm -hmm. in the morning, mm -hmm. you find that that person is dead. The heart stop, uh, uh, stopped beating uh, maybe in the night. Yeah. And there is the heart uh, blockage mm -hmm. which affects uh, so many people in uh, Western mm -hmm. where uh, we are told that uh, people, we are told in Western people have uh, uh, big hearts yeah yeah not big as uh, in uh, in, uh, in being a philanthropic mm -hmm. just uh, the heart has uh, grown yes. uh, to, to have an abnormal size mm -hmm. because of the type of uh, food mm -hmm. that uh, people eat that down they're there eating. Yeah. yeah and so you're saying that um members of your family yes. suffered from um a cardiovascular disease yes yeah could you kindly i know you've shared a bit but maybe tell us some of the symptoms that your parents um, encountered. Yeah, like uh, the cardiac arrest, which uh, uh, which uh, uh, my father had, mm -hmm. it had no symptoms. Yeah. Because uh, just after uh, two, uh, 2016, on uh, during Boxing Day, mm -hmm. after celebrating the Christmas, he went to bed and he never woke up. Yeah. yeah. So there, wa there was nothing that maybe could have ha alarmed you about that. Yeah, there was nothing that mm -hmm. uh, w w was causing alarm. Yeah. And uh, my mother, uh, luckily, has mm -hmm. came with the symptoms. Yeah. She was sickly. She say she was complaining of uh, her, uh, chest pain, mm -hmm. and uh, sh she went to hospital. Uh, the, the, she was. Uh, they were treating her of uh, a different uh, disease, uh, maybe yeah. malaria, because mm -hmm. uh, we don't have uh, equipment down there. Okay. They were treating malaria. Uh, uh, somebody was saying, no, it's a low uh, blood pressure. They mm -hmm. boost the pressure. Mm -hmm. So we had to 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 look for uh, for a. Uh, uh, professional uh, uh, professional uh, uh, doctors yes who who now 
uh, diagnosed her mm -hmm. and uh, discovered the, the, where the problem was. Mm -hmm. And uh, up to now, she's uh, doing good okay. after she got uh, uh, good medication. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Yeah. So she got, um, I'm not saying that she got better immediately, but after what period of time did uh, yeah, she start improving? Yeah, she started improving after a year mm -hmm. because she, she was supposed to 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 be to to be uh, to be operated yeah and uh inserted a, a pacemaker mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. but uh, the pacemaker was so expensive that mm -hmm. uh, uh the family couldn't raise the money yeah so she she had to do without the pacemaker but she's doing fine yeah that's yes. good yes yeah so is that the reason why um you came up with the jj hard run yeah that's the reason mm -hmm. because uh, uh, uh to save my mother i have a lot of friends uh who came in and uh, we we had uh, several fundraisers and we raised money to save her Mm -hmm. Although we didn't get enough money to to get the pest uh, the pest maker, mm -hmm. which uh, they they wanted uh, the doctors uh, wanted uh, around uh, one million shillings, mm -hmm. and we couldn't raise. So I came up uh, I came up with the, this idea because uh, so many people are suffering down there, yeah. and they can't raise even one hundred thousand mm -hmm. shillings. Yeah, so I decided to come up with the, this uh, to create awareness and uh, and uh, maybe set up a clinic of which already we have mm -hmm. in Vihiga. Yeah. yeah. So Priya, um, I believe that you come from Vihiga too? Yes, I come from Vihiga. Could you kindly share with us maybe some st st statistics of um, maybe the numbers that of people that have, that have suffered cardiovascular diseases? Uh, I can't give the exact number, mm -hmm. yeah, but yeah from our clinic, from the cardiac clinic, mm -hmm. at least every week, mm -hmm. they treat 52 people okay. of the same disease, uh -huh. every week. 52 people? 52 people. Wow, Those are the reported number. cases. And I know if you go deeper, uh -huh. there are more cases that are not reported, because uh -huh. someone will die, uh -huh. and when you ask, they say, ah, alikuwa tu sawa, ata alienda kwa shamba, aliporudi. They passed on. Yeah. When the postmortem is done, mm -hmm. it's cardiac arrest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and you're saying that um, the reason why the number is higher in Vihiga is because of some of the the food that people eat there. Yeah. So, w what kind of food that food that makes people have suffer the cardiovascular diseases? Yeah. You know, luckily we we got uh, out of the. The, the the Cuban doctors, mm -hmm. there were very few, I think less than three yeah. uh, cardiologists mm -hmm. who came from Cuba. We are very lucky we got one in Vihiga. Yeah. And she was so frank, she said the Ugali people are eating the, 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 the starch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot. Yes, a lot. So <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not mm -hmm. very sure. Yeah, I can't I, explain I understand, much. yeah. Yes. And um, you're saying that you started the clinic. Yes. Uh-huh. So how did that come about yeah last year uh, last year in uh, march we we started a run mm -hmm. we ran from vehiga to nairobi yeah yeah all the way yeah all the way uh, a run that took us uh, 40 days mm -hmm. yeah and we passed through uh, kisumu kericho nakuru kiambu counties uh -huh. up to Nairobi here, yeah, creating awareness and uh, trying to to, ra to fundraise. Uh -huh. And uh, people donated uh, in kind. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, that's how we managed to get uh, a cardiac uh, uh, clinic uh -huh. at the Viga County Referral Hospital. Uh -huh. Yeah, and okay. uh, it's uh, equipped with a Cuban doctor, which is a uh, I think a plus, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that about 52 people are treated um, on a weekly basis. Yes. Um, and are these people improving or they how are is it? They are improving, mm -hmm. they are getting better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so like when we go there, you ask, mm -hmm. they tell you. Sometimes we go, mm -hmm. we find the patients are there. Yeah. You check, is this your first clinic or your second? Mm -hmm. They say, this is my third clinic and I'm feeling better mm -hmm. yeah so I, I believe that you had goals when you were 
when you were starting the run and when the clinic was starting? Yes. Are those goals being achieved? Yeah, so far I can say at least uh, to some percent mm -hmm. we are glad because we have a clinic yeah. and uh, people can know their status. Mm -hmm. Yeah, by because they used to treat different diseases unknowingly. Yeah. And uh, those people who used to die in silence, now I think the rate has come down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So could you share maybe some of the goals that you wanted to achieve when you started the run and the clinic, but mostly the run? Yeah. The, the, our goal by then, we wanted to set up a fully equipped uh, cardiac center. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. but we didn't manage to get a center, but we got a clinic. Yeah. And uh, we didn't know that we could get a, a Cuban uh, uh, cardiologist, yeah. but uh, she came on board. Mm -hmm. Yes. What are some of the equipment that other hospitals don't have that are necessary to treat um, cardiac dis cardiovascular diseases? Maybe Priya can tell us. Mm, in Vihiga County, mm -hmm. initially, if you wanted to do the tests yeah. concerning the heart, you had to go all the way to Kisumu mm -hmm. to a private clinic. Mm -hmm. They would refer you there. But right now in the Vihiga County Referral Hospital, mm -hmm. we have the echo machine mm -hmm. and the ECG. Mm -hmm. yeah. So those are the most important ones? Yeah, those are the, the most diseases. important machines. Okay. Yeah. Other than um, doing the run to raise money, yes. what else, what other activities do you have that bring in some income for you? Yeah, so far we don't have uh, activities that uh, bring income, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, through friends we visit uh, s some of the patients and uh, you know majorly these uh, cardiovascular diseases, they are uh, life, uh, lifestyle diseases. Yeah. So we, we visit uh, s some of the patients mm -hmm. and uh, advise them on what to eat mm -hmm. and what to do. and. Uh, also, we, 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 we encourage them on uh, uh, doing practice. Yeah. Yeah, fitness, uh, mm -hmm. which I think is uh, the best, uh, the best uh, remedy. Yeah, people yeah. have become very lazy. They need to exercise. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so s what are some of the major highlights that you've had since you started the run? Maybe you can tell us. The major, yeah. the, the highlight, the one I know that is very major mm -hmm. is when we successfully had the cardiac clinic mm -hmm. in Vihiga County. Yeah. That's the, the one I know is very major. Mm -hmm. How long has the clinic been running? Yeah, the clinic was, uh, was launched during World Heart Day, mm -hmm. which is September 29th mm -hmm. last year. Yeah. So it's this month is almost a year. Oh. This month we'll be mm -hmm. celebrating our first uh, anniversary. Mm -hmm. And uh, that anniversary, uh, that's why we want to 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 ice it up with uh, another run. Mm -hmm. yeah. When are you planning the run? The run will start uh, on 29th. Uh -huh. 29th, same month? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, on 29th is a World Heart Day. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. So you're still planning to move from Vihiga to Nairobi again? N no, we are going back. Uh -huh. Nairobi to Vihiga. Yeah, Nairobi to Vihiga. <laughs> and you're saying that that run takes 40 days. Yeah, 40 days. But I think this one will take a little bit longer mm -hmm. because uh, we are we, uh, we we are going through Eldoret, mm -hmm. Nandi, and Kakamega. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. So what other plans do you have when it comes to JJ Hat Run? We want to 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 do pure sensitization. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and. Uh, Maybe if I step aside a bit, uh, I wish they just concluded census. Mm -hmm. They could have included somewhere uh, the, the 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 disease, the, the, a question that uh, yeah, could touch yeah. on health. Yeah. Yes. I saw and I think like uh, through that else. we could have uh, gotten a g good uh, data. Yeah, it's yeah. true. That's true. I saw somewhere else people saying that um, th there was no inclusion of. Um, any health questions, yes. yeah, insurance, mm -hmm. health issues, yeah. So maybe um, Priya, you could tell us um, the partners that you're working with currently, if there are any partners. Mm, currently, there are no partners, but mm -hmm. you are looking forward to get some. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who are you targeting? Mm. <laughs> they could be watching. <laughs> we are targeting Safaricom, mm -hmm. mm, Kenya Cardiac Society, Okay, that's good. Yeah. 
any other thing you'd like to add on what we've talked about? Yeah, uh, any other thing I would l is that uh, uh, we, we, we wish, uh, we, we are uh, appealing to well-wishers mm -hmm. to come on board because uh, as the saying goes, uh, every family is just a disease away from poverty. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. Do you have any social media pages? Yeah, we have JJ Hatran mm -hmm. on Facebook, mm -hmm. JJ Hatran on Twitter, and JJ Hatran Instagram. Mm -hmm. So, um, if if someone wanted to, to to be part of the run, how can they do that? Yeah, I think I will uh, leave you with our contact, mm -hmm. uh, so th and I think that uh, the, the, the a good springboard. Mm -hmm. yes. Are there any requirements? No, uh -huh. no. We will do the running because I think everybody is scared of the running, yeah. the running part. But yes. uh, we'll do the running and uh, they'll do the other, the rest. The, the rest of the bit. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you so much for making time to join us. Yes. Thank yes, you. and we wish you all the best, and yes. we hope that people learn and understand that this is a silent killer that we have, and they need to take action. Definitely. Yes. So yes. thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. So that was Joseph and Priya. And like you've, you have heard, we need to create much more awareness about the cardiovascular diseases that are killing people silently. And you need to watch what you eat and do a lot of exercise. So that's all we had for you for Real Talk today. But don't you go anywhere. More of Isakit coming your way.